turns out I started learning how to cook and bake at just the right time. My school is having a bake sale to raise money for people that don't have enough to eat. That's what a bake sale is. It's when you sell yummy goodies that people baked and the money goes to help others. Remember our Bible story from last week? It's crazy that God is still using people to help other people. How about a yeah, God cheer? Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, God! Again! One, two, three. Yeah, God! That was fun! So, for the bake sale, I decided not to bake. What I mean is, I made these delicious no-bake cookies. That's right. For these yummy cookies, you don't need an oven at all! You're forgetting something? Hmm. I'm about to be part of something really important that I hope goes really well. I really care a lot about it. I care so much that I feel like I need to talk to someone about it. But who? What do you guys think? What could I be forgetting? While I try to remember, let's check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. Our story today is from 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 4 to 20. And though our story comes from the book of Samuel, this story isn't about Samuel. This story took place way before Samuel was even born. It's about Samuel's mother, Hannah. For a long time, Hannah was very sad because she could not have a baby. To make matters even worse, some people even made fun of her just because she couldn't have a baby. Hannah was so upset by all of this that she didn't even want to eat. But Hannah trusted God, so she decided to take her sad situation straight to God. She prayed. She went into the sanctuary, which was where people went to pray, and she stayed there for a long time, crying and talking out loud to God. Hannah prayed so hard for so long that Eli, who was in charge of the sanctuary, thought Hannah wasn't feeling well. But Hannah told him that she wasn't sick or anything like that. She was just really sad. Eli understood and told Hannah that God was listening. Hannah went away feeling great and God heard her prayers. And by the end of the year, she had a son. She named him Samuel, which means I ask God for him. Hannah's story reminds us that God wants to hear from us. So when we don't know what to do, do you know what we can do? Step one, trust God. And then step two, talk to God. Wasn't that Bible story so good? I'm so happy Hannah was able to have a baby after all. I'm still trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything for the bake sale. Can you help me? Okay, so I need to have cookies to sell at the bake sale. Do I have my cookies? Check! I need a sign for my table. Do you see the sign that I made? Check! What else? Oh, yeah! The money from the bake sale is going to help people that do not have enough to eat. I wish we could sell lots and lots of cookies so we could donate a lot of money. Who can help me with that? Talk to God! Oh my goodness! You're right! How could I forget step two? Talk to God! I should talk to God! I should pray about this bake sale. Will you pray with me? God, I really want this bake sale to go well so that a lot of people who don't have enough to eat can be helped. Oh, 
And it would be cool if people love my cookies too. Thank you, God, for listening. Amen. Wow, I feel better. I'm ready to rock this bake sale. Peace out, friends. God can hang the stars in outer space Only He can make a rainbow from the rain Only God can part the seas to make a way There's nothing He can't do No, there's nothing He can't do Cause He can do anything, anything at all Giant too big, no mountain too tall. I know God is powerful. Yeah, anything He can do, anything, anything at all. Only God can hang the stars in outer space. Only He can make a rainbow from the rain. Only God can part. means is we can 
can trust him This means you and me can trust him Well, what this means is we can trust him Yeah, I know This means you and me can trust him Because he can do anything Anything at all He can do anything Anything at all There's no giant too big No mountain too tall I know God is powerful 